내 미소에 난 취한 것 같아 자꾸만 웃음이 나 어린아이 장난 같아 Hi guys, welcome to my Korea Diaries vlog. I am just making this quick intro because I wanted to take a few days to kind of explore. This is my first time here. And I just kind of wanted to take it all in. I apologize if some of the clips are a little bit short, but I will try to give as much context. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the vlogs and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> My boyfriend and I today so we wanted to sightsee and just walk around we wanted to try Loteria this is kind of like McDonald's but I would say the food is better it took us so long to find this place because we originally thought it was going to be in the Lotte mall but it was actually in the subway and there was like this whole underground mall down there but we ended up finding it we actually found it because we could smell it on the street and we decided to walk down into the subway so i got a spicy chicken burger and then fries and then right across from loteria they had a case to fry. really cool because you could actually customize the cases in store and you can get them the same day i find that case to fry takes so long to get your custom order but here you could do everything like within the hour so once we were done there, we walked about, I'd say like 10, 15 minutes to Seoul City Hall and it was really nice. They just had a bunch of like office buildings. So a lot of office workers were out. I think people were grabbing lunch. It was probably around maybe 12, 30 by now I think and then of course we came across an olive young this is probably the best olive young I've been to I'm not gonna lie some stuff was sold out but it was really clean in here and it was not busy at all so best believe I definitely came back here right before the trip was done so once we were finished with olive young we actually went back to the hotel really quick it was only about maybe like a 10 minute walk 
I noticed that Seoul does not have a lot of public restrooms, so we just decided to go back to the hotel. And also, we didn't really have a set plan of what we wanted to do today. So we just wanted to walk around and we came across this palace that's actually very close to like the main palace and this was the former residence of like the royal family so this was really cool to see all of the different rooms and where everybody slept it was really nice to see how well they preserved everything i was actually very shocked they had like all the doors open the only thing is you couldn't go inside obviously but it was free admission and the grounds were so beautiful it was just like i'm not even a nature person but i really like seeing all of this and then they had a small room they showed a huge overview of how the grounds looked and then also in this little room they showed a lot of traditional items so like artwork bowls some tools and these are actually garments that royalty would wear and especially for their wedding as well so it was really nice to see this and then i think we kept on walking maybe like five minutes down the road and we came across this folk museum this was actually very interesting they had a bunch of different folk music and you could pick up the speakers and listen to all the different music And they also gave you a description about like what the music meant and when they would sing it. And then we kept on walking around and we came across this area that had a lot of cafes, poachers, restaurants, gift shops. It was a little bit more expensive because I think this was a touristy area since it was near the palace, but the stuff was really cute. And I noticed that there were a lot of popular cafes that I saw on TikTok, they were in this area. Okay, so we are back home now. It's been pretty cold in Seoul. The area that we are staying in is called Insidong, which is near Myeongdong, which is like a very popular touristy like shopping center. I used to see so many vlogs from Korean YouTubers that I watched going to Myeongdong and it's like so surreal to actually go there. So I had so much fun shopping. The first two days, we did a lot of shopping in Myeongdong. We did a lot of walking, and it was just nice to see the stores and just walk around. But today, we did more like sightseeing. So we walked around the area where the hotel is, and we also wandered into another area. I don't remember the name, but it is another like popular touristy area. They do have a lot of shops, like gift shops, and they also have a lot of cafes there. I did notice that the shops in this area were a little bit more expensive. So I think that's more of like a tourist trap, to be honest. I think that they kind of mark the prices up because they know tourists are gonna go there. We also saw a traditional kind of like palace slash house and it was actually free admission, which was very surprising. The grounds were really beautiful. You could go, you couldn't go inside of the little houses, but you could see through the windows. And everything was kept in like very pristine condition. So I was shocked that everything was free to get in. But it's close to the famous palace where everyone rents uh, humbucks. And I want to do that. But I do want to do that on a more warm day because it's pretty cold. And I plan on taking a lot of pictures when I go there. But we walked down the street where they have all of the humbuck um, 
rentals so i'm so excited to do that hopefully we can do that on saturday today is thursday and it was around 40 degrees um it was also cold yesterday it rained a little bit in the morning and then the day before it was a little bit warmer but for the most part it's been pretty cold here and i'm actually glad that i ended up bringing two jackets because i just i don't know it's just getting kind of cold but i really liked the area that we went to yesterday it's called hanam and that's one of the wealthiest places in korea uh, I think a lot of the K-dramas that we watch, like the wealthy areas are based in there or like Gangnam, but the shops are really nice. I wanted to go into Tamarind's, which is a like Korean perfume, hand, and I think they just came out with some home scents. But I believe that this is a new flagship store in Hanam, and I think it was just an influencer event. So it was actually closed for the day. So I wasn't able to go in there, but I actually went to Nonfiction, and they had some really, really nice stuff. I got two perfumes. I got two 30ml perfumes, and then I also got some hand cream and then she gave me some free samples so we just did some shopping yesterday and like i said today we went sightseeing but i did actually go to olive young so i'm just going to show you guys a quick little haul of what i got this is the bag so the first olive young that i went to it was actually like really it was sold out and i picked up this lip tint by tezik it smells so good and the color is really pretty too it's like a natural like kind of mauve pink color very pretty i really like this and it smells like absolutely delicious it smells like berries okay the next thing i picked up is actually an eyelash curler i like the shiseido eyelash curler but uh, for some reason like you don't have the little eyelash curler like the squishy part it like can rip so i went to sephora to go buy a new one and my sephora was sold out so i ended up ju just using like a refill one from muji and it does not curl my lashes right so this i believe is a popular um eyelash curler at all young so i purchased this this was i think 9900 won which is roughly around seven or eight dollars usd I also picked up two mascaras that actually came with one free. Actually, this is the Curl Fix line, and it's from Etude House. I like to use their, like, curling. I'll pop in a picture of the Dr. Mascara ones, but I was very curious to try these mascaras because I think it's supposed to have, like, that formulation in here, but the fact that it comes with two of them and the price on the mascaras was i think it was 12,000 won because i think it was on sale but really good and i noticed that all of young you get like usually two items or like a, the regular size item and then a deluxe size item which is really interesting um i feel like they don't do that a lot in the states but yeah i'm very excited to try these and the last thing i got i definitely want to stock up on supplements while i'm here because it's harder to get these supplements in the states and i wanted to start trying supplements now so that way i could see how they work for me throughout the trip and then i can like purchase them more so this one i've actually seen on amazon and i think this one is pretty good it's by the brand called inner b and this is a glow shot collagen and yeah i'm excited to try this this i think was only 15,000 won and it comes with i think it comes with 12 in here i think that's how many are in here but yes very excited to try this but yeah for the most part we've just been doing a lot of shopping i went to that nail store which was so cute i got so many cute nail charms so i'm definitely going to start doing more nail videos but i hope that you guys are enjoying for now when i'm in the city it's like i already know the area so i'm not really exploring so it's much easier for me to vlog things but here everything that i'm seeing is new New, so it's kind of hard to like take my camera out all the time and also i know that korea has some privacy laws when it comes to showing people's faces so i try to be m very mindful when i'm vlogging not to get people's faces in it but yeah um tonight we are gonna go hang out with the couple that came with us and i think one of her friends is coming as well we're going to a bar so i'm gonna go check that out and yeah, so far I'm enjoying my time. I was a little bit jet lagged, but I do feel better now. I'm starting to like adjust to the timing. It's currently 8.21 p.m. And in New York, it's 7.21 a.m. So 
very big time difference but yeah i will catch up with you guys a little bit later Good morning guys, it is day 5 in Korea, it is Friday and it is around 8, almost sorry, almost 9.30 so today we're actually going to Dongdaemun which is where we went a few days ago to the nail shop we're actually going to this wholesale marketplace so we're going to buy like little charms you can make like keychains and stuff so we're going there and then we're going to go to I think a French toast restaurant but I decided to dress up a little bit today because I feel like I've just kind of been wearing whatever, but I really want to take pictures and feel cute. So I am wearing a skirt that I bought at one of the shops. I'll show you guys later. But I'm just switching over my bags because I plan on buying a new purse today. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly check in and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> We took the subway back down to Dongdaemun and this was where we went to like that nail mall so we went back there and the place that we were going to was actually already kind of like in the subway station we didn't even have to leave which i thought was very interesting but this place has a bunch of wholesale items so i believe each floor is different there was a floor for like restaurant stuff but the floor that we were going to was specifically crafts so it was a lot of like phone cases uh phone charms you could do jewelry there was fabric to make bags there was so much stuff here like if you are an arts and crafts person like you like diying a lot of stuff if you're in korea you definitely need to come here something very popular here is bag charms and they have a lot of supplies here they have these little like bunnies that are very popular and they sell them on the street but here you can just make them there are so many charms like when i tell you there were endless options they had patches for bags they had hair clips they also had jewelry i ended up picking up three rings from this little stall they were all sterling silver but i got a ton of stuff and make sure that you bring cash because a lot of these places it's only cash and i didn't try to bargain so i'm not really sure if you can do that here but maybe if you want to try i didn't even want to try bargaining to be honest and we walked about maybe five ten minutes we wanted to go to this cafe that sold french toast but literally as soon as we walked up to the cafe they put a sold out sign and it closed and it was only like one o'clock which i was very shocked but we ended up stopping by this sandwich slash like cafe they had pasta here too so we just got this quick little sandwich and then i think maybe like two minutes down the road we went to this 
kind of artsy it's kind of like a knickknack store this stuff really isn't my style that much but i think if you're into stationery and one-of-a-kind things i would definitely come here because they had a lot of like cute unique things they kind of had like one of everything which is kind of nice so very cute and then once we were done here we went to this place called tidewater i think that this cafe is popular also we all got iced americanos but the barista was so cute she ended up like making little drawings on top of our coffee like we we're i was trying to figure out why it was taking so long but it was because she was drawing on top of the coffee and it was super cute and the coffee was really good here it was actually pretty strong but once we were done we actually took a cab back it was just too much to find the subway and it started raining so we just took a cab hi guys so we just got back to the hotel we went to tongbe moon we went to like that full it was like craft and accessories they had so many stalls i was getting kind of overwhelmed but that place is perfect for people that are very like crafty and it was all wholesale too so it was really nice we only had to pay wholesale price and yeah, we didn't, we didn't need like a wholesale license, but I got a bunch of phone accessories, so I'm going to show you guys those. And we also went to a cafe, we got sandwiches. We were originally going to go to a brunch spot with French toast, but actually sold out, so they ended up closing. But I'm going to show you guys what I picked up at the accessory place. Okay, so I went to five, I think, I think like maybe three or four different stalls actually i think just three so the first stall i went to i got this stuff so i got this little cherry like felt charm and this was six thousand won which is around like four five us dollars and then i got this long kind of chunky pearl charm but yeah i'll show you guys how that goes on the phone and then they had like these little bows i'll if i have a photo i'll insert it but basically a lot of the charms like this for example they had the beads and like the little rings so you could fully customize it yourself but personally i'm not that like this isn't what i'm super into right now like crafting so i just wanted to buy it already made but they do sell the supplies like fully just separate so you can make it and customize it but they had this little bow with a silver heart that was really cute but it was 20,000 won and I thought let me just buy it myself and just make it so I think this was 3,000 won this was like maybe one or 2,000 won and this is probably like 1,000 won or 2,000 won and I'm just going to basically connect it together and it'll make like a little heart keychain so that's from one stall and then I went to another stall and I got these phone cases so basically they're clear phone cases and what they do is they drill these little like things in here so that way you can hang charms from them so i got two i got one in silver and then one in gold but this one goes across so i think both of these cases came to eleven thousand won. and then i went to a separate store and i got these four different pearl ones so you see how it like connects like cross so this one's gold and it has little hearts and then this is like a like craft kind of like bead i think this one is really pretty and then I picked up two more pearl ones. So this one is kind of like a freshwater pearl. And then this one is just pearl and has a little bit of a silver link. I do wish that I had gotten another one of the pearl ones in this gold color. But yeah, and then this one's really chunky. I thought that I could actually stick this on a purse too because it has like these big links. Um, so yeah, these were really affordable. They do sell stuff like this on the street, which is also cheap here, but um, the whole, like the people on the street usually buy this stuff from the wholesalers, like the place that we went to. But yeah, I really like everything that I got. I'm super into Pearl. Yeah, this is everything. It's so cute. Yeah, I just love it. It's so cute so we ended up going back out because we wanted to go to a soy we couldn't go there a few days ago so we went to songsu and this is kind of like i would say maybe brooklyn uh, my friend also recommended this place to me and i was so excited to go into a soy but i was not allowed to film i think because it was a flagship store honestly I have no idea but we came across this pop-up with this i don't even remember the brand but it was with uh what is this called new balance and you could get like a photo card and then you took a picture in front of a desk with your name on it it was cute they have a lot of like these little 
pop-up things here and then they also had this one store that was just filled with pink interior so very nice i really liked this area it's a very special area to me now i will tell you guys in the next few vlogs a little like secret but um yeah so we came across this restaurant it was actually raining so we wanted something a little bit warm so we ended up getting makuli and we also got the choketong which is like a clam soup so i think this is a chain restaurant but the food was really good here the portions were huge i think we ordered too much food but the food besides was really good and i wish that i would have gotten more footage in this area i could have sworn that i did because we went into like some different stores like other clothing stores and another bag store but once we were done eating we found this speakeasy and one thing i noticed is Korea likes to do a lot of like American style things so this speakeasy was kind of like the prohibition so it's very interesting I think it's odd because I'm from America I don't know what it was but nonetheless it was still really nice they had a lot of drinks from that era and the cocktails were really good but I really like this bar I think that Korea does a great job with speakeasies and wine bars but yeah that is it for this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys in the next one bye